while there's over 200 companies reporting this week, and most are retailers, there's still a group of other hot stocks that are still going to report outside of the retail group. There's some hot ones over there, but there's other ones that we should be paying attention to this week. What are they? I took five of the hottest of the names, and let's dive right in and see what they are. So the first one out of the gate is Salesforce. Now this is a very uh, attractive chart. They haven't missed since our earnings uh, data began there in 2017. So they got a good track record of meeting or beating and shares have busted out here to new five-year highs. We also just learned that they're going to be added into the Dow Industrials. Yes, it's ceased to be industrials only many years ago, but that's a big news. Some of the managers will have to swap out for it, although not as many uh, follow the Dow Jones and there's not as many ETFs in the Dow Jones as S&P 500 and some of the others. So a little bit less of that, but still it's a positive that they're going into the Dow here. And this should be an interesting mm -hmm. report, especially with all the work from home and everything else going on uh, out there in tech land right now. So this is one to tune in. Now switching over to the software side, Autodesk, they just have that one miss there in 2019, but otherwise they too have a great track record of meeting or beating since 2017. And they too have busted out here to new five year highs. Can they hold this momentum and continue with this rally even after the earnings? A lot of the software stocks and the companies have been reporting really solid quarters. So this will be one to watch. And then we're going to switch it up a bit and go over to the home builders. Yes, we're getting a home builder this week, Toll Brothers. And as you can see with them, they've had a pretty good track record right there since 2018 with just the one miss two quarters ago. They did beat last quarter and the shares trying to get back to at least 2020 highs and then possibly even to those 2018 highs. Can they get there? Toll Brothers is on the luxury side. And one thing that makes them a little bit different than some of their other home builder competitors is that they do have uh, quite a bit of exposure in the urban markets like New York City. They were building some high rises there, uh, not just single family homes. So what what's happening with that as everybody's fleeing New York? But are they fleeing to their developments outside of New York? I don't know. And they're also at the upper end of the price range although they were building some uh, non-custom, like lower end, uh, lower end for them, I guess you should say, um, in the last uh, couple quarters here, they've started to build to try to get some of those millennial buyers in on the lo slightly lower end. But what this will be interesting to see what they're seeing now, what they're reporting, but all the home builders have been reporting really great numbers. Everybody's out there buying. If they kept their job, and so this is definitely one to tune in this week. Then we're gonna switch over to PagSeguro. Now you might not know them um, unless you're big into the digital payment side. So they are a Brazilian company based in Brazil and they do the entire digital ecosystem in Brazil, including Pag Bank. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong as usual with my foreign companies, but they have point of sale devices to the merchants. You can do bill payments on their platform, all mobily. So you can do the peer to peer transfers. Obviously Brazil is a large market. Digital is the place to be, especially during a pandemic. Uh, so this, this one is definitely gonna be one of the hot ones. It hasn't yet regained those 2019 highs. Now it does have a pretty good track record of meeting or beating with just that one miss since 2018. So we'll see what happens with this one, but all the digital payment type of companies have been hot in their earnings reports. So this is definitely one to tune in. And then we're gonna wrap it up with Dell, Dell Technologies. Now this chart's a little misleading. Don't really pay any attention to the things happening in 2017 and 2018, because it, it came public again at the end of 2018 there. And that's why you have that big weird drop there. Um, but otherwise it's beat every quarter since then. And it's been a little bit of a rocky ride. It did sell off in the coronavirus sell off here in 2020, but it's trying to get back there. And with good numbers from Best Buy and everybody having to buy uh, new laptops and things to work from home or for the kids at school or at college, 
how is Dell cashing in? They also do have a big corporate side too. So how is that being impacted? We will see, but this is also gonna be an interesting one, this earnings report. So as you can see, it's not all about the retailers. Although again, there are some hot retailers as well. And I'll be covering even more of the retail group next week as we're gonna get a couple of the hottest of the hot on the retail side but you want to be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of the Earnings All-Stars as we're covering everything during this earnings season, even as it winds down here. Still a lot of important plays, so get us all at zax.com slash YouTube. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel and you won't miss a single episode. I'll see you again next week with some more retailers.